that you are doing it, Sandeep Maharaj, that you are doing it, this is uh, highly impossible for any, everyone. It's highly well, that's impossible. That's right from my heart. That's, I mean, there is no compulsion. We have to start from our own countries. We have to start from our own people. Sensibility in life is also education. And it probably goes together. It Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. I can say to the Vasudhevaka Kutumbakam, one world, one family, and one vision. All of you, good morning, everyone. So today, myself, Dr. Shama Hussain, before all of you, and uh, welcoming you all with a grand welcome. Myself, Dr. Shama Hussain, global founder and the CEO of International Institute of Influencers. Today, you know, my dear friends, I got a very strange experience. Very strange experience. Do you know what's that? When I was working at home today, I was noting down for today's program, everything. Somebody knocked my door. Somebody knocked my door. And I was like, who's that? Just I went and I checked in. I saw eight to 10 people were standing. And they said, we, want, we came here to wish you best of luck. Best of luck? For what? I asked them, for what? I'm so tensed, I'm so confused. So many things to do. I said, we came here to wish you all the best because we are peace. We are sincerity. We are honesty. We are dedication. We are communication. We are confidence. We are all the ethics and values of education. And there was a gang leader. There was a gang leader who was standing there. And the, this gang's leader. And you know who's that? The gang leader was happiness. He was happiness, my dear friends. You know, they all said, Dr. Shama, we want to thank International Institute of Influencers for initiating this initiative of humanization of education. Thank you for bringing the students all over the world. Thank you for connecting them to the legendary leaders. Thank you for spreading the values of education. And they told me specially, Please convey our best wishes to all the students over here today. So I'm conveying all the best wishes from this ethics values who came today to wish me, not just me, to wish all of the wonderful leaders to wonderful students who are here with us. So that's one thing. My dear students, I want to tell you one more thing. You are not here just to speak. Remember, today your role is to influence. 
because you are on the global platform you are global influencers today just give your best you are going to change so many students lives you are going to ignite you are going to trigger you are going to boost the energy values of education today and one more good news one more good news that i want to announce as the global ceo of international institute of influencers that by seeing the wonderful launch of international institute of influencers i100 i100 skill for students the principals the principals who are holding the leadership of education who are holding the leadership of values they have come forward with a new concept we are all going to start a new concept the international institute of influencers with the support of dr kevin ward uh, mr daljit rana ms prove and all the team of ihs international house of speaker we are going to start a new launch called as i100 pioneers of leadership i100 pioneers of leadership and you will be surprised to know that there are so many principals from different states every state of india has already initiated this process they want to join they want to spread the ripples of humanization of education my dear friends i just want to highlight their names one once uh, for a while so that we are so happy to spread this positivity today is i can say today is the boosters of positivity everywhere uh, the first principal dr zeba khan the techno india group public school uh, bhopal uh, and indore dr tulsi kumar from hyderabad mr amar kumar principal b and b international school sindoli mrs sharanjit kaur principal gggg royal international school mrs neeraj kandu principal sarup public school punjab mrs shabanjit uh, mrs shobha mai yes saint uh, xavier school odisha dr madhu dodia principal chate school and junior college Mrs. Vanit Kaur, Principal, National Public School, Punjab. Mrs. Mamta Anand, Principal, Holy Heart Public. Sorry, I'm going very fast because today is the time bound. Senior Secondary School. Mrs. Shabnam Sheikh, Rajiv Gandhi International Senior Secondary School. Mrs. Meenakshi Sharma from Punjab. Dr. Preeti Huda from Haryana. Dr. V. V. Ramna Murthy, Principal. Mrs. Sunita Yadav, Principal, um, Saint Anandram Jaipuria School. if already just we thought and so many principals have come forward what more should we demonstrate that we are going to bring we are going to build world as one family thank you so much for all your support and with this wonderful excitement i you can see lots of excitement with this wonderful excitement let me welcome president of ihs international house of speakers who is running this uh, leadership of uh, ihs from last two years i can say from last two years successfully with lots of determination uh, sincerity honesty discipline honestly i mean every word that i said my dear friends every word mark it and uh, he is he is iron man of international institute of influencers i call proudly proudly i can say that international institute of influencers is an organization that values the values that values the values because of the presence of immense leadership empowered leadership with values means uh, they are world is one family well, international institute of influencers is just a proof for that because we are we are staying so many such a different far place it's morning 3 or 4 o'clock there in america but dr kevin is ready very fresh and looking so handsome <laughs> and looking so handsome as well and he stands beside me all the time to support this initiative morning 3 o'clock a person is coming here to support the initiative of humanization of education to bring peace in the world to bring happiness in the world so without wasting time iron man of iii dr kevin ward president ihs bod and coo of iii let me welcome dr kevin finally my role is finished <laughs> Dr. Shama, thank you. It's always an honor to be here uh, as part of uh, III and especially IHS, and to be among uh, these young people as we continue to move forward with the mission of humanization of education. 
uh, on behalf of III, the board, uh, and the leadership of IHS, I want to welcome everyone, uh, all the students, our esteemed guests, uh, Ms. Williams, uh, Ms. Walker, uh, and of course, always appreciate uh, Professor Rubin being present. So thank you for being here and hope that as you build young people and uh, take this time to grow and uh, expand and move forward. It's gonna be exciting times as we do this and just uh, take your time and take breath, be calm, it will be fine. Uh, you're among friends. And so thank you uh, very much. Uh, one thing I do ask is that all of us adhere closely to time constraints so that uh, we can get through in an efficient time uh, and, um, and be respectful of each other's time. Uh, doc, uh, Dr. Shama chuckles because that's something I always uh, work on, but we appreciate everyone being here. We respect your time and we will honor it accordingly. So again, welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you for being here. It's going to be an exciting day. All right, Dr. Shama, back to you. Thank you so much, Dr. Kevin. You always, you know, my dear friends, in the history of III, there's no day where Dr. Kevin didn't start initiated any initiative of III. Every initiative of III has been initiated by Dr. Kevin and concluded by Dr. Kevin. So he is very lucky charm for us. Thank you, Dr. Kevin, once again. Thank you. So let's, my dear friends, uh, let me welcome our chief guest, uh, our a special guest today who are going to, um, I can say, see your influence. Yeah, I don't say that who are going to validate your things. They are going to watch your influence and they are going to take it to their country as well. From United Kingdom, Ms. Sheena Walker, who is the master coach, world-class master coach. You know, she's so busy all the time, but she has taken up her time today. I was like, maybe Ms. Sheena will be there or no. <laughs> like, I was like confused. Such a wonderful lady. And I was really mesmerized when I had one conversation with her for, uh, I think, one hour. We had a big conversation. So her knowledge really impressed me, really impressed me. She is a power pack of knowledge. And uh, we are so glad to have that world class master coach. Who, she just mesmerized me by saying that how to introduce when the way she brought so many variations in me that day it really mesmerized me Sheena, with lots of gratitude we are so glad to have you today here and you know so many people are watching you today and you are the first guest you and miss caroline today are going to initiate this you are our i can see masterpiece you will remember as masterpiece in the history of i100 for initiating this program Thank you, Ms. Sheena. And we request for your wonderful message, best wishes to all our students who are watching you from all over India, all over the world. Stage is yours, Ms. Sheena. You want me to? Yeah, your wishes to the students, Ms. Sheena. Right, okay. I would like to just start by saying that I'm in Scotland. And I have a sentence I'd like you to think about as an influencer. And it's got seven words. I would like you to first be the best today. And then I would like you to be first in whatever you do, in your education, your school, your work. Go out there and have influential conversations, influential conversations with your career prospects, influential conversations with people you work with in your team, influential conversations globally with people that you can influence. Remember that speaking is the most profitable skill in the business world today. I'm going to say that again because I want you to write that down. Speaking is the most profitable skill in the business world today. Every day when you get up, ask yourself, did I influence the world yesterday? Hmm, perhaps I didn't. It's time to influence the world today. And thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. 
Thank you so much, Vishina. I think you have given wisdom nugget already. I think everyone have noted, even I did it again. <laughs> did I influence the world today? Thank you so much, Vishina. Thank you for your wonderful time. Thank you so much. We'll come back to you. So now let me invite another very humble, uh, I can say deep thinking. I can say very innovative thinker, a very wonderful personality who is the host of uh, Car um, uh, Carolyn William Host, which is one of the biggest program in UK, and a wonderful master coach as well. She is here with us, Miss Carolyn Williams, who who takes everything very sensitively, very deeply, and the way we were discussed the questions yesterday was so amazing. And uh, she is so fascinating, lady. She shows whatever she does, she goes for complete dedication to that. That's what I really learned from Miss Carolyn all these days interacting with her, with her ideas and all. Indirectly, Ms. Caroline, I'm improving my knowledge. Do you know that? <laughs> so, uh, state is yours, Ms. Caroline. Your wishes to our wonderful students who are watching to listen from you. Well, this is an honor and it's a brilliant uh, picture, a canvas. And <laughs> we call that a rich tapestry. So I, I, I was trained as a teacher for art and once you have colors, you appreciate all the colors in front of you. So my wishes to all the students today, and I have, you know, I'm really uh, grateful for the opportunity, Dr. Sharma. So well done on the invite. But my um, wish would be that every one of us, we are forever learning. Even I am forever learning. And I feel as a speaker, because I have Welsh as a second, well, it's a second language, but I am Welsh. I would think in different languages in my head when I'm answering a question. So I wanted to be able to say the slim, simplest format for a speaker for me is to really feel passionate and in love with the topic and passionate and in love with life. And to be able to stand up and speak up about whatever it is that you love and feel passionate about is for me the most profound and the best skill ever. And that's basically what I want everybody to feel, to feel very good about themselves, to know who they are, to really appreciate the fact that they've joined us and how valuable that is and to speak up. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ms. Karina. I'm sure everyone have noted down and such a wonderful uh, message that you have given them. You have ignited their, uh, their energies now. Thank you so much, Ms. Karina. And right. my dear friends, now, without uh, delaying, let me invite our Vice President of International House of Speakers, Vice President of International House of Speakers, Mr. Ruben Garcia, who is, I can say, he's the all in one. He is the perfect. A leader he has inspired in speaking with lots of people all over the world. He's from Peru and he is with us again from the beginning, from the first day of III. Uh, Mr. Ruben, the stage is yours. We want you to give your conditions as well as uh, we want you to wish our students, uh, Mr. Ruben. Well, it's a great moment to be here together. All of us are here because this is a milestone of the speaking practice. You have the great responsibility to give a message. And remember this, think twice before you speak because your words and influence will plant the seed of either success or failure in the mind of another. This quote was said by Napoleon Hill. I totally agree with it. And I wish you the best for today. And you are here to become the best influencer of the world. Go ahead and let the most be the best you are going to have for the great messages for the whole world. Thank you so much, Mr. Ruben. Mr. Ruben, thank you so much. So now uh, let me invite our another awesome personality, 
I can say the awesome personality uh, who is all the time with energy, with the gratitude, carrying with him. He carries always these things with, with him. He's none other than one of the wonderful friends, country director of III, uh, Mr. Daljeet Rana. He always, he never leaves awesome and uh, gratitude from him. I always try to take it away from him, but he never gives me, even though I'm his friend. Daljeet, <laughs> stay with you. So, namaste to all from Bharat and first of all, I would like to extend my warm gratitude to Dr. Shama Hussain, the founder and global CEO of III, Dr. Kevin Ward, my mentor from U uh, USA, the president of IH IHS, uh, Dr. Ruben, Dr. Uh, Sheena Walker, Kirillon Williams and all the principals from different parts of the country who uh, took this initiative to transfer the masses of humanization of education to the entire world. So first of all, I'm full of gratitude to all the edu leaders who took this initiative and today my dream has come true. You know, from my childhood till the date, I was in deep gratitude to that almighty that I want to connect with all the students. I don't want to lead only my school because I'm working as a principal of one of the top academic schools of Punjab, India. What now today dream has come through when students from the different parts, different schools of the country, they are at a single platform. So big hats of you, Dr. Shama Hussain. With your efforts today, all we are here to, uh, you know, discuss and transfer this message of human addition of education to the entire world. Once again, deep gratitude to all of you. Thank you so much, Dr. Shama Hussain. Thank you, Daljit Ji. Thank you so much. We are all together. We are all traveling in this same ship. And we are all, I can say, the change makers today. And this is a journey of change making has been started now. And we are initiating this process. And we are taking this ship forward. So everyone is an influencer and everyone is a global influencer. So extending lots of gratitude to all the principals of the school uh, for sending their children to build leadership to build influences, to build global influences. Thank you from the bottom of the heart from International Institute of Influences and the IHS department. So let's not waste the time. Now all our energies are triggered. Everyone is waiting for our students to influence. Without wasting time, let me invite Mrs. Uh, Ms. Sheena Walker. Ms. Sheena Walker is our first jury. Now she's, as a jury, she's coming to you. She will be calling you all one minute. This round is called Influence Round, my dear students. This is Influence Round. She is going to ask you all a question. She will be calling with your name. You will be joining her. And only one minute time will be given. If you are exceeding your time, you are disqualified. So please keep it in mind. Just exactly give your best. What you are, like Machina and Ms. Karen told you, be honest. Tell what you want to tell and just influence. Ms. Sheena, the stage is yours. Okay. okay. Welcome. I'd like to ask the very first person here is Maskin Kaur. Are you there? Can you hear me? Maskin? Maskin Kaur. Maskin? Yeah, she, she's there, uh, Ms. Sheena. Yeah. She's okay. joining us. I would like you to take a stage and I'd like to ask you, is there a difference between life and living? Which one are you right now? Maskeen Kaur is joining. Yeah. I hope Maskeen, you got the question. Maskeen, are you there? Mom, can we move forward? Yeah, I think we will go ahead. Um, uh, Maskeen Kaur, she's not here. No problem. Say the second one, we will go ahead. Um, okay. oh, the second one. Oh, what a very big name for me. Adish Hakanzin. How do I say that? If I said it correctly? Adi Adish Shakti Singh. Yes, ma'am. Are you there? Can you hear me? Oh, yes, oh, yes ma'am, I can hear you. Yes, ma'am. 
Okay, uh, Bruno. Before, before we continue, I'm going to play the role of the timekeeper. Look at my screen. And before you continue is one minute, the time stand here. So uh, you are going to begin your answer as soon as you see my green, my green screen. Look at this. You start answering the question. Then okay, after 30 seconds, you will see the yellow screen. And when the minute is accomplished, you will see the red one. All right? Okay. So yes, okay. Good. Now in the green in the green screen, you can start your answer. Are you ready? Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. I, it is the same question. Is it the same question? It's the same oh. question. Is there a difference between life and living? Where are you right now? Uh. Okay. Can I start? Yes. Yes. So, ma'am, life is basically. <laughs> When you are born, you get life. Means, well, we all are living. But the thing is, the difference between life and living is when you live with the aspirations, when you live, live with your hopes, when you live with your dreams. That is true living. If you are, if you are just left your dreams, if you're not chasing them, if you are just, just like that only in life, it's not living. It's just life. You are alive, but you are not just truly living. It's just life. Yeah, uh, ma'am. Okay, thank you. You had another few ten seconds there, but thank ma you. Ma'am, uh, ma'am, actually, I cannot see the timer. Okay. So, you can see there on the screen. Uh, you can see on the screen. No problem. You you have given your best. Don't worry. You have given your best. You can okay, see on the screen. Then it is changing red green. It's no problem. You need to. It's not necessary that you must complete one. You can even less also. But the content is important. Okay. Don't okay, get stressed. Don't get stressed. Yes, yes. Okay. I'd like to call the third person, which is Suhani Singh, and I'd like to ask you the same question. Is there a difference between your life and how you live, and uh, which one? Mishina, uh, can we share the picture for her? Yes, sorry. Yeah, we will. Uh, I will share the screen, Mishina, for her. Okay. Then, so have we got Suhani? Yes, yeah, Suhani. Yeah. Are you there? Get me Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Is there a difference? Yeah. Oh. Can I start? Yeah. So we're asking the same question. No, no, Miss Srina, there are different questions for each person. Okay. Can you observe the picture shared on the screen? Which picture is giving you a life lesson? Ma'am, in this we can see that, ma'am. Ma'am, which picture are you showing? You can see the screen, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. You can see the screen. On the screen, picture one, picture two. With the moon, one picture is there. There is a picture with the man in the hut. There is a picture in the with the mountains. There is a picture with the water. Yes, ma'am. So which picture is the most picture which is giving you a life lesson? That's what Mishina asked you. Mom, I think the picture two is giving the life lesson. This one? Yes, ma'am. So tell yes, us about that. Tell us about picture two. What do you see? Mom, because in this, ma'am, we can see ma'am, we can see the plants around us. Ma'am, they are green. Ma'am, the diversity around us is totally filled with the plants. Ma'am, we must grow new plants again and again to develop the personality. Okay. Interesting, thank you. Pictures thank are you. very visual, aren't they? Very visual. We should all be re reflecting on each of the questions. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. You're very welcome. So now, have we got Mihak? Yeah, next question, Ms. Shina. Me, Mihak. Okay. Mihak, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am, I can hear you. 
Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you. So I'd like to ask you, I really, this is brilliant. I love this. One of the most famous cartoon shows of all time is Tom and Jerry. What life lesson can we take from Tom and Jerry? What does that mean to you, Tom and Jerry, in the cartoon? Start now and tell me. Now, the cartoon, Tom and Jerry, explain and, and tells us about the, their friendship. Friendship and their true friendship. Like, whenever they mostly, we see them fighting. But whenever the difficulty comes in their life, they too join their hands and fight with the difficulty and, and shows us what is true friendship. Thank you. Thank you. Friendship. Being an influencer with friendship. Thank you. Welcome, ma'am. Meg, why your camera is closed? Please, I request the participants to open your cameras so that our jury can see. They will see even your facial expressions. They will see your language. They will see everything and it helps them to decide, to judge you, please. Okay. The next person that I'd like to see on camera and be an influencer is Mihak. Are you there, Mihak? I'm, I'm here. Yes. Good morning. Welcome. I would like to ask you, when you think about a flowing river, the ocean, the river, what message does that carry for you? And what can the, we learn from that? Now, the message the flowing river gives me is that it always flows. The water is always clean. And so we should be clean like the water. We should never lie. We should always be honest. Thank you. And we should never stop lying. We should always chase our goal. Like it's in, like the water always flow. We should always flow like the water and be honest. Thank you. Love that. Thank you. Thank you very much for sharing that. That was lovely. Thank you. Okay. We're now going to move on to Ivan. Ivan, can you hear me or see me? Ivan? Yes, ma'am. Oh, thank you. I'd like you to give me your interpretation, Ivan, of this statement, this sentence. Which one is good to say? You hurt me or I was hurt by you. I'll say that again. You hurt me or I was hurt by you. Which one would you choose and why? Ma'am, please repeat. Yes, I can repeat. The sentence, two, two sentences, can you tell me which one is correct? You hurt me or I was hurt by you. I was hurted by you. Which one would you choose and why? You hurt me or I was hurted by you. Which one sits with you? Tell me what, tell me why you liked one bit more than the other. Um, Ma'am, I would like to choose you hurt me. You'd like to say that again, please? Can you repeat that? Uh, Ma'am, I would like to say you hurt me. Uh, Ma'am, I would like to say you hurt me. Brilliant. Thank you. Why did you choose that? Ma'am, 
And because uh, we should not hurt someone else. It is not a good thing. Okay. Thank you for sharing that. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you to all the speakers and the influencers and our future speakers of tomorrow. You're muted, uh, Dr. Shama. Thank you, Dr. Kevin. Thank you, Vishina, for this first round of questions. Very interesting. Because the first time we are doing, so students are getting used to this. Uh, this atmosphere, this uh, ambience, and this complete, uh, I can say, all of us together. So anyhow, um, the very interesting questions. Thank you, Ms. Um, uh, Sheena. Let's go for the second round, second uh, jury now. So and this, our second jury is Ms. Carolyn Williams. So she is going to ask you again. And please come on, bring the energy. Bring the energy. Everyone, come on, rise, rise your hands and tell me that we are energetic. We are energetic. We are energetic. We will influence. I want that energy in all of you. I, I, I'm not saying that. Come on, be energetic and let's influence. Done? Perfect. So, a big round of applause to all of you for completing Ms. Uh, uh, Sheena for the first time. And she is coming back again. <laughs> she is coming back again. So, get ready. So, Ms. Carolyn, the stage is yours. Thank you. And I'm looking for a lovely uh, person called Alaya Mukadam from Gold Crest School. Are you there, Alaya? Yeah. Let me see you. Let me see you. I can't see you yet. There you are. I've got you. Hello. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Greetings from Wales. The question to you is about your selling skills and you're nicely centered in the screen so you've got a lot of marks from me 100 marks for that you are really very visual thank you so the question to you is you're an entrepreneur you were born an entrepreneur what would be the skill that you'd require to sell the product that you're very passionate about Greetings from India, Maharashtra, ma'am. Okay, so if I was an entrepreneur, it's something that I've created that I want the, that I, the product that I want the world to use. Firstly, as an entrepreneur, I'm a one woman army. So I would want to have good communication so that the use, the need for the product is reached to my consumers. I would make sure that I developed something which is needed in today's world. We have a lot of things. We have a lot of products. I would firstly want my product to have those qualities that are lacking in the world. I would be eager to learn from my consumers. I will have flexibility, good communication, as you said, which was skill and speaking skill, which is very important. And that's how I would lure my customers into seeing how important that product is. Thank you. Brilliant. What a lovely answer. Thank you. Shall I go on to the second? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. I'm going to roll with this now. I'm, I'm beginning to, yes, enjoy it. I've got a Haleen Kaur, an usher of Conair, Sanskrit Public School. Yes, ma'am. Can I see you? I'm going to need to see you. There you are. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Greetings from Wales. Greetings to you, ma'am. Thank you so much. This is about your observation, I believe. So are we going to be able to pick up a screen yeah. for the picture for Doing it, you to see? Yeah. Yes. I'm going to have a look at the picture and it's your observation here. Oh, yes. I had a lovely conversation with Dr. Sharma about this picture. Are you ready? Yeah. So you yes, need to observe the picture that you're sharing, you're being shared on the screen and try to guess what the what message does this picture convey? What message does this picture convey to you? Ma'am, this picture conveys a message that when we are small, then our parents take care of us. And uh, when, uh, when we grow older and our 
parents grow older than us, then we have to take care of our parents. Like then a uh, situation always changes in life. Nothing we keep, nothing is permanent in our life. Everything changes. When we are young, we are we are take care by our parents. And when our parents grow older, they have to we have to take care and we should. The situation is never the same always. That's wonderful. In terms of um, your answer, you've obviously got very good parents. And as a parent myself, I would say I can be the child as well. And then as you look, and it's a full circle, when you've got love, when you start, it's respect to be able to continue that love right until the very end. What a wonderful answer, Halim. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. And the third person is Jatish Goyal. Um, and I've got here, I think it's Malta Teacher International School. So it's Jatish Goyal. Good evening, ma'am. I'm going to wait for your lovely face first. There you are. Hello. Gr greetings from Wales. Greetings from Punjab. Isn't it an amazing um, connection to be able to do this when we're different parts of the world and it's like as if you're next door, you're in the room next door. So it's a wonderful invention. So I have a question for you. And the question is, how do you learn about humbleness? So that's being humble through nature. How do you learn your humbleness through nature? I learned those all the humble parents. They are every time humble to me. From that I'm learning. Can you just repeat that again so that we all hear the first bit, which was important? I'm learning that humbleness from my parents. Parents. Gotcha. Yes. Do you have do you have the um where you live? Do you have nature? Do you are you able to sort of see trees and forests or rivers or anything like that? Yes. Yes, ma'am. I'm yeah. able to see that. What do you see? What's the first thing you see? When you open your curtains in the morning, what's the first thing you see? Trees. And what trees and at? sun. Trees and what? Trees and sun I see. And it, what, what, what are you learning from that? When you're, you're observing that, what do you learn? I learn the time. From the sun I learn the time. That one time sun will come, one time moon will come. So they are not delaying anyone's time. They are punctual. From that I'm learning the punctuality. That's an extremely good answer. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. And uh, the next person is Pawan Preet from Kaur GGB Royal International School. Okay. I think we'll go. Uh, we got no? you. I think uh, no problem. I think but the second round, everyone was there. Yes, that uh, student is there, maybe having problems with sound. Maybe having problem with networks, ma'am. I think so. Shall yes. we go on to the next person? Yeah, she joined. Uh, she joined. Yes, ma'am, I'm here. Hello. I've got uh, in, in and out. It's, you've disappeared. Go back. Yeah, problem with technology. Technology is always a challenge. It is, but it's fun. No problem. I think meanwhile we can come ahead with other uh, next one. And unless she just can she hear us? Is the sound there? She can answer. Yeah. Is does she have sound? We'll go to the next uh, Miss Yes. Here you are. So this is um it's different now, isn't it? Hello. Greetings yes, from yes. Wales and it's Gianni Panswa. Have I got this right? Panwa. 
Yes? Where's your happy place? Can you hear me? Where is your happy place? I don't think you can hear me. Good evening, ma'am. Greetings from Wales. From Haryana, Bharat. <laughs> I'd like to ask you where your happy place is. My most happiest place is my home. Your home. And uh, not only for me, I think so for everyone. Everyone <laughs> think home is as the happiest place because it's a place where we grown up we we laugh we uh, we cry and the the wall of the houses are the walls which hear all our secrets as famous saying that walls also have ears and also a uh, house is a wonderful place so most happiest place is house so you Thank you. Feel, you're feeling secure in that lovely Four walls and home that you call home. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for your answer. Welcome, ma'am. Very pretty picture there. Dr. Sharma, are we through? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Miss Curly. It was so amazing. Uh, the way, I means you have taught them. I think in this short period of time itself, you have taught them the body gesture, the way of connecting each other. Uh, your your body gestures, it was wonderful. Thank you so much. You have uh, really given them as a, a sign of connecting and networking. Thank you so much. Connectivity, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, one of the favorite question of Miss Caroline was, where is your happiest place? Uh, she, when she was, we were discussing, and the, one of the things is how we learn humbleness from the nature. The, it, it was her favorite question. I hope she got the wonderful answers as well. Thank I you did. so much. <laughs> Thank Dr. you so much. Dr. Sharma, if I might, I just want to remind all of our participants, all of our students, to be prepared with your uh, camera open, and make sure that your sound is working. If you cannot hear uh, one of the jurists, be sure to uh, put something in chat or something to let us know, but we need to be ready to go as your name is called. Exactly. Thank you, Dr. Kevin. Thank you. This, is, this was a must uh, really uh, needed instruction. Please be ready because the jury is waiting for you and it is live as well. Thank you once again. So let me call back. Ms. Shina Walker. Ms. Shina, we are waiting for you now. Thank you so much, Ms. Shina, for coming back. Thank you, Dr. Sharma. This is exciting time speaking to our future students who are going to take the world by storm. I'd like to call on Shara Sahu from St. Axvier School. St. Xavier School, yeah. Sharash, are you there? Yes, ma'am, I am here. Oh, brilliant. Can I see you? Okay. Oh, I'm really impressed. Headphones on. That's okay. <laughs> I've got a really important question for you. And I love that you're smiling at me. I'd like to ask you, what is the most important feature or important skill that you have which you're really proud of sitting speaking to me today what are you proud of share it with us can you please repeat the question can you tell me what skill your personality what skill you think you you do well what is it about you that we should know that you're super. Tell us a skill you have. Yes, ma'am. I think I have the skill of. Uh, I am very confident and uh, I am very good in speech and I want to achieve every success in my life. That's why I am very proud and confident on myself. And Thank do you, you think having confidence helps you at school? Yes, ma'am. It does. Are you proud of that? I can't hear. 
Are you proud of being confident? Do you think it's good, a good skill to have? Yes, ma'am, I am very proud of it. Yes, and I think you've shared that really well. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Could I call on, oh, I'm so impressed. You're on the screen, ready to go, looking to the camera, brilliant. I would like to ask you um, a question that I've never ever asked this before, but I'm hoping you give us a really good answer. Is there a difference between... Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Can you tell me, is there a difference between... She seems to be yes. having some internet issues. Seems to be a little bit, yes. Shall we come back or will we try again? Yeah, one time we'll try, Ms. Uh, Sheena. Okay. Oh, I think it's... Can we come back again and try, Harmadi? Yeah. Yes, ma'am, sure, ma'am. I think oh. another one has come in. Okay, we've got, we'll come back. Hello. Good afternoon, Ms. Kira. Welcome. You can, can you smile to me, please? <laughs> can you smile? Can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? I think you're not unmuted. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I can hear you. Okay. Good morning, morning ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. You can smile to me. Give me a smile to the camera. Thank you. I'd like to ask you a question that I'm intrigued to hear what you might say. Why do we have a school system in our life? Why should we go to school? And what? What are you learning at school? Can you share that with us? Actually, in the schools, may I start? Yes, welcome. Yes, of course. Actually, in schools, it's about our perspectives, in which way we are learning the things. Like in school, there are packing and dispatching, like from pre-primary, from seniors, and after that, universities. In that things, some of the students got degrees and they think that, hey, that's a degree paper and it's enough for me. Some students learn only to get a degree paper, but some students learn that I have to be educated and I have to get values from the school. It's about, it's already dependent upon the student and how the student enroll in school. So according to that, the student got the knowledge. Some students got the knowledge of only cramming the things and memorizing the things. But some of the students got the values of about the character, the values that shape their character and nourish them. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. That was a brilliant answer. We should all take one lesson from you there, everybody in the room. We all need to be a student of learning every day. Thank you. Can we move on now to Yashmeet? from Sarup Public School? Yes, ma'am. Oh, welcome. A lovely picture on camera. Thank I'd you, like ma'am. Yes, can you hear me quite well? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's super. I want you to visualize this for me and give me an answer. We have two boys or two children standing in the pouring rain. We get rain in India, we get rain here. One of the boys is standing under an umbrella and the other boy is dancing in the rain. What does that tell you about the two boys? One's under the umbrella in the rain and one is dancing in the rain. What do you think that tells us? Uh, this tells us enjoying the life is the best. Enjoying our life. 
Can you tell me a little bit about that? Dancing in the rain or under an umbrella? Can you expand a little bit more? Uh, would you do, would you dance in the rain? I think dancing is the rain. He enjoying the rain. Don't like other boy. He just stay in the umbrella. Okay, and is there a difference in personality? Is there a difference? Okay. So he have umbrella. The other boy he don't have umbrella. So which boy don't have umbrella? He have not money. So he so he enjoying the rain. Right, okay. I don't enjoy the rain, it makes a mess of my hair. Okay, thank you so much for sharing with me. You look very good on camera, by the way. Very good, excellent. Thank you so thank much. You. Okay, so we have to go back to what person did we miss? Hardy? Yeah. <laughs> Hardy Carr of National Public School. Hear me now, Hardy? Yeah, she yeah. is ready. Yes. Can we actually highlight him, please? Yeah. Um, I'm here. Um, she, I think uh, she can chat otherwise. If she, you join on the oh. screen, but if you are not able to answer, chat it, we can uh, read it otherwise. Hardy, okay, what I'd like to ask you is something that gives us adventure. I'd like you to tell me what lesson can we learn from trees, from trees in the park, in the woodland? What does it teach us learning about trees in autumn? What do you think that means? Did you get that? No. No, it's not frozen. Can you, yeah. ma'am? Can you repeat your question? Hardy, can you see? Can you hear me? Can you lift your hand if you can hear me? Yes, ma'am. Now I can hear you, ma'am. Okay, super duper. I want you to tell me, super. I want you to tell me. Imagine you were in the woods or in the forest, having a walk. What lessons? Can we learn from trees during autumn, walking in the forest? What did that, what would that teach you? Okay, ma'am. Firstly, trees can frame against the taste of time, weathering storms, and adapting to various conditions. They teach us the value of resilience, reminding us that challenges are merely seasons that pass. Just mm -hmm. as trees bang but do not break, we too can learn to nav navigate life difficulties with grace and strength, emerging even stronger on the other side. Similarly, teachers also play a vital role in imparting a resilience by encouraging students to embrace setbacks as opportunities for growth. Beneath the surface, trees create an intricate network of roots that not only support themselves, but also communicate and share resources with neighboring trees. This emphasizes the importance of interconnectedness and, communi uh, and communication skills. Mm -hmm. Similarly, in our lives, fostering meaningful connections and collaborating with others can lead to more enriching and fulfilling journey. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. I hope everybody listened to that. All the answers we're getting today are life learning from the students. Thank you so much. Thank you to Thank all the you, students. Thank you, ma'am, for asking me this question. Thank you, ma'am, for asking this, uh, this lovely question. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Shina. Ms. Shina, I think almost we are done with everyone, right? We are done with uh, this year round. Yes. So thank you, Ms. Shina. I think Ms. Caroline and Ms. Shina are very impressed um, with the answers given by all of you. And we need more energy. We need more energy to run the program. That's the thing. Don't forget that energy. And your smile will impress 
of a jury. Keep smiling, that is very important. And uh, let's go ahead now without delaying. See, our jury are giving you points and all these points will keep it with us and we'll announce it one day. And uh, so please try to impress your jury as much as you can with your wonderful smile. So done. So now our next jury, again, the Iron Man of III, and please be lit, he's a bit strict as well. So <laughs> just melt him with your smile. So Dr. Kevin Bard, uh, he himself, IHS president, he himself is going to ask you questions today. So try to melt Dr. Kevin with your wonderful smile and influence him. <laughs> Yeah, Dr. Thank, you. Thank you, Dr. Shama. At this time, I'd like to invite Ashmeen Kaur. Ashmeen, can you hear me? Yes, sir, I can hear you. Very good. So, Ashmeen, what I would like you to do is uh, I would like you to think about a song that describes your personality and maybe sing a few uh, words of it to us. Sir, can you repeat the question? Yes. Think of a song that describes your personality, a favorite song that you like uh, or one uh, that you know, and that it describes your personality and like you to sing uh, some of the song for us, just a short piece. Are you there, Ashmeen? Sir, your voice is not clear. Okay, I'll, I will repeat one more time. Think of a song that you like that describes your personality. And please sing a little bit of it for us. You go ahead with the next one. Yes, I think we've got, uh, again, technology challenges that are uh, we're coming up against. Okay, so uh, maybe, Ashmeen, you can get your uh, sound working and we can come back to you. And so, uh, Ridi, am I pronouncing your name correctly, dear? Yes, sir. Very good. Thank you uh, for being here. So, the question that I have for you is two parts, okay? And first one is, what is your biggest failure until now? And the second part is, what did you learn from it? Uh, sir, my biggest failure is probably when I fail to impress my teachers and oh. make them proud of myself or my family. Uh, that is probably my biggest failure, yeah. Okay. Very good. Uh, what did you learn from it? Sir, like uh, I learned that I would probably be more confident of myself and be more productive in my studies and be, be like be more productive and be confident about myself. Then I could also influence more people and be productive about it. Thank you, sir. Very good. Thank you for your answer. Thank you, sir. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, at this time, I would like to invite, uh, and I hope I pronounce your name correctly. Is it Divrup? Good evening, sir. Did I pronounce your name correctly? Yes, sir. Okay, very good, Divrup. So you, I have for you a uh, question, and we're going to have a an image on the screen. Dr. Shama, can you share that, please? Yes, sure, Dr. Kelly. Going to share the screen that time. Oh, actually, Dr. Shama, I'm mistaken. I that's for the next question. My okay. apologies. We will sh show this one. It's okay. Okay. My question for you, Divrup, is when you look at a mirror, do you see a lion or a cat? And please explain. Thank you so much for the question, sir. <clears throat> According to me, I see a loin. Like I see myself as a loin. Like I can do anything in the world if I stay humble and if I will keep working hard. 
ठीक है आई डोंट फील लाइक आई एम अ कैट बिकॉज आई एम वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट एंड आई ऑलवेज फील लाइक आई कैन अचीव एनी थिंग इफ आई विल डू हार्ड वर्क एंड इफ आई विल वर्क रेगुलरली ऑन माई गोल्स थैंक यू सर very good thank you for that answer and uh, well thought uh very good so at this time i would like to invite param garg i hope i pronounced correctly uh to uh the screen param are you there dad okay i heard a response and then we lost Aram are you there? Okay, uh maybe having some technology issues also. So we will move along to our next speaker and that is Simrat Kaur. Can you hear yes. me? Yes sir, I can hear you. Okay. Greetings sir. How are you today? Sir, I am fine. What about you? I'm very well, thank you. Okay. Sir, firstly, sir, firstly, I would like to say you that uh, I feel you are so cute. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Shama, she has taken your and suggestion. And it was my heart. dream to talk uh, with a foreigner. <laughs> very good, dear. All right, so. Okay, when she mentioned your heart now. <laughs> yes, I see that. So, uh, my. Uh, statement for you to respond to is this share any one effective success tip with everyone here in the audience what is a one effective success tip that you would share with our audience sir i can't understand the question can you repeat it again certainly uh you have uh, hopefully you have some tips about okay. being successful please okay. share so one of tips, your favorite tips okay one of my favorite tips uh, to be success is firstly to do hard work and believe in yourself that i can do so your subconscious mind will help you to do your work right perfectly and you will definitely success if you will say to your sub subconscious mind that i am very and very confident and i can do this work very easily so you will definitely and definitely be success in your life okay thank you thank you for that tip and also the passion that you shared it with thank you very much that's great thank uh, you sir you're very welcome dear can we try param again just to see if we can get uh technology to work Aram, can you hear us? Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to get Param, so we will continue to move forward at this time. Dr. Shama, back to you. You're muted, ma'am. Thank you for reminding me, Dr. Gavin. I'm sorry. <laughs> so. So, so first round is completely done. Influencing round, as it is the first round, you are learning so many things. I know, and all our jury also understands this. Mishina, Miss Caroline, and Dr. Kevin Ward, and our uh, um, Mr. Professor Ruben. Professor Ruben, we are all here trying to comfort you. We are not here to judge you. So please try to understand this and focus more when you are. You can listen carefully when you are focusing. Please do focus and keep smiling. As I said. some of you have done that so keep smiling uh, miss shina wants to see the smiling faces miss carolyn wants to see that because we are here to spread the happiness many of you are seeing that so bring that happiness bring energy i need more energy still 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 so okay. that energy is required and we are going to the second round now the second round is a speakers round you are yes. round so it is a you are round our jury will not come to you they will be listening you they will be watching your body language number 1 body language your uh, the way of voice modulations that you are going to put how many times you are smiling what is the confidence level in you all these things they will note down and then they will give your marks so please be ready with that 
all of our four juries who are sitting here, Professor Ruben, Ms. Caroline, Ms. Sheena, Dr. Kevin Vaj, and we are uh, there to support you, me and Dr. Zalji, Dr. we are all here to support you. So, everyone be ready. So, speakers round, three minutes, three minutes, one second, also you are disqualified. So, you are, we, are, we have given you the topic, and then go ahead. So, we, your three categories, in three categories, you are going to start. So, according to the names list, we will be uh, welcoming you, we'll be inviting you. So the first one, I think, uh, Dr. Kevin, shall yes. I ask uh, the names, Dr. Kevin? Uh, I am ready, or if you would like to announce yes. them, Dr. Sharma. Please go down. Point of information about the timekeeper, from the timekeeper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead, uh, Professor Rubin. All right. So this time is three minutes time, and uh, the first minute is going to appear. After the first minute, you will see the green light. The second minute, you will see the yellow one, and three minutes, it means time's up, the red one. Please okay. keep that in mind. Okay, thank you, Dr. Rubin. And just be mindful of your time as you share. And as Dr. Strama said, we're all here to support you and encourage you. And we uh, are excited about your uh, journey here. So without uh, any further uh, talk, I want to invite Maskeen Kaur to share their three-minute speech. Yes, sir. Very good. Okay. Can I start? Uh, just a moment. We'll wait for the timekeeper to give you uh, the indication to start. Okay. Sir. Professor Rubin, Great. let her know when you're ready. You can start in three, two, one. Go ahead. Imagine how would our life be without humanization? Have you ever tried to discover your inner talent? This is the platform that we're looking for to show our talents. A very good a good evening to everyone. I'm extremely ecstatic to be the part of this wonderful platform. I'm Ms. Keenkar, studying in 12th grade in National Public School, Neshara Pannon. Today, I'm going to share my views on the topic, how can we achieve purpose of life through humanization of education. Humanization education. It is a schooling instruction scheme that has its principles based on human empathetic elements. To humanize is to penetrate and be penetrated by the conditions of others because the solid and deep bonds between masses are built with the solid and transparent personal relationships. But those humanitarian values aren't confused with personal values. Therefore, it is up to human beings to know how to let on humanization and the consequences of economic social system. How can we improve our lifestyle through humanization? The first step towards to it, the workplace is recognizing and acknowledging that each employee is their own person with unique feelings and emotions. In today's study place, pupils want to feel that the institution is oriented in them the same way they are expected in the institution's mission and success. Five key pillars for humanizing student welfare. First, inclusion. Everyone wants to be heard and this is especially true in educational workplace. Therefore, creating an environment that encourages open communication, collaboration and interaction across demographic groups and job opportunities gives the pupils a sense of belonging. Empowerment. It is organization wants is to empower students to act in their roles. Institution need to invest in their pupils empowerment uh, from a growth and advancement to ensure they retain more pupils in the long run. Personality and diversity. Educational institutions should try to understand and appreciate their learners' diversity. They will feel valued in an organization that tries to understand who they are as an individual. Co-creation. Humanization provides co-creation among students for developing their goals and allow them to contribute to the thought process making them feel like they are an important part of institution. Empathy, it is the key for every student to understand 
how each experienced the work environment. When school leaders empathize with their scholars, they design a work environment that helps them to stay engaged. When empathy is woven into the fabric of daily life, people relate with their heads and hearts and their minds become receptive to the new ways of working. At last, I want to say that I'm very grateful to giving me this opportunity to speak before famous representatives. Thank you. Thank you uh, for that uh, well thought uh, speech, dear. All right, moving right along. Just uh, I might remind everyone when the highlight is on, if you will scroll at the top, you can bring up the timekeeper screen so that it's in front of you and easily seen. Just a, a reminder. So at this point, I would like to invite Adish. Oh my goodness, I hope I say this correctly. Adish Atsking, uh Sanskriti or from Sanskriti Public School. Are you here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please pronounce your name for me, dear. Adi Shakti Singh. Okay, it's very Adi good. Shakti. Thank you. I I appreciate that. So yes, uh, when you're given the time start from the timekeeper, you may begin. Okay, so all I right. So ready, ready, set, go. Yes, sir. A very enchanted afternoon to all the inside food and benevolent personalities present here. I'm Adi Shakti Singh of 11th Standard from Sanskriti Public School, Gorakhpur. Although I don't have a greater wisdom to present myself in front of you all, but I will try my best at least to give everyone a reason to think about. So starting with the meaning of humanization of education. So according to my in evaluation of the topic, Humanization stands for human, and education defines the behavioral traits that a true human can exist with. Now, what are these behavioral traits? They can broadly defined as love affection, tenderness, and empathy. But the main question stands now. Are we following these traits? Or are we just uh, are, are we doing something just opposite to it? Well, if you take a newspaper and read it out loud, we will find that the second assumption has more support. Now, let me show you some pictures. Well, so these pictures will need any... Will, I don't think so. Look at these pictures. Now, now we will find this, that he has some cultural people celebrating other cultural festivals. And what does this show? Where religion is becoming reason for some wars, it is also becoming reason for celebration and brotherhood. Secondly, there is a universal law, which states that what you give into the universe, you will get it back to. So now coming to, so now coming to the core concept of my speech, that how can we achieve the purpose of life through the humanization of education or adapting the behavioral traits? Since I've already answered it, but I will summarize it. Firstly, by choosing to be happy. But when we will choose religion as a, as a, a reason for celebration, we will automatically uh, see that as a reason too. Secondly, by contributing love and happiness into the universe. When we will contribute happiness into the world, we will surely get it back within us. Now, with this, it is all how, how I can uh, express myself in three minutes. Uh, and I'm really sorry if I disappointed you, and I'm very thankful for the uh, opportunity. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, dear. Very nice. Uh, we uh, heard most of what you had to say uh, in spite of the technology. So thank you. At this point, I would like thank to you, invite... You're very welcome. Would like to invite Suhani Singh. Sir, so, so am I audible? Yes, you're audible. Can I start? 
wait for the timekeeper to give you the word to start. Ready, ready, set, go. Education is what remains after. Education is what remains after. One has forgotten what one has learned in the school. Oh, very good evening to one and all present here. I am passionate, ambitious, and outspoken Suhana Singh from grade 9, going to represent Bal Bharti Public School, Solom. Firstly, thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity to share my views on the topic, role of students in humanization of education. Education humanization is the orientation of education process to development and self-development of a personality, to priorities of universal values, improvement of relationship of personality and the society. Humanism is a progressive philosophy of life that without theism or other supernatural beliefs affirms our abilities and responsibilities to lead ethical lives of personal fulfillment that aspire to the greater good. Learning that a humanistic education as a learner prefers learning center, humanistic learning objectives further develop the potential of the learners. It is not that just move the educational process of the science educators to learners. There are many things to do when educators, education process occur with the purpose of understanding the concept of education. The learning process will be more meaningful for the students. Educators, parents, and the community is more proud of the students who are able to achieve the value, rank, or champion than in the concept of individual achievement. The most extreme influence that will be conflicts and divisions in the society require a more human education concept of student center that focuses on character building of the student. Emphasizing student centered learning can be applied to a variety of learning methods. Became active learner, explore, search, and analyze something without the cohesion from educators or others. The concept of student centered learning when applied in the learning process in classroom, potential learners will be more developed because in the process of learning, educators only act as a facilitator. At the last, I would like to say that if there is a permanent improvement in a man or any better social order, it must come mainly from the education and humanizing of man. Thank you and have a wonderful day ahead. Very well done. Thank you for that, uh, Suhani. Uh, and we will continue moving along. Uh, I would like to invite Mihak to the yes. screen. Am I audible, sir? Yes, we're hearing you, Mihak. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Get ready. Yes. Ready, set, go. Start. Thanks, everyone. Okay. It's my pleasure to finally introduce myself to you all. My name is Mahak. I'm studying in 7th standard from Brahmanan Public School situated in Siam City, Nissan Karna, Haryana. Today, I want to thank you all for providing me this opportunity for presenting my words in front of you all present here. Today, I'm going to enchant you with my topic, my dream school and dream school teacher. So let's begin. Firstly, I would like to ask you, what is a dream? Well, a dream is thoughts, images, and sensations occurring in a person's mind is known as a dream. And a thought that occurs in every children's mind is that how good it would be if he would make every rule and regulation of the school by himself. And every dancer students may think that school is boring, but in essence, my dream school is not just a place for imparting knowledge, but a space for growing and learning, where each student can thrive and become the best version of themselves. And it will be a place full of nature. At the end of every classroom, there will be flowers of different kind. Well, now let's move on to my dream school teacher. But firstly, I would like to allocate a little habit of mine with you all. When I was six or seven year old, me along with my classmates, we used to change our favorite teachers by time. Whenever some teacher would ask us who is our favorite teacher, we would reply that it's her without thinking of anything. 
And so, by allocating this little habit of mine with you all, I want to convey a message that your favorite teacher can also be your dream teacher. My dream teacher is a very enjoyable person who not only ensures that every student gets the education they need for being successful in life, but also ensures that every student feels safe while they are in school and she and always inspires us to find out new skills and to grasp them while we are at school. Well, and lastly, I would like to allocate her name with you all. Her name is Mrs. Suman Sharma and she used to teach me Hindi. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you for that. Very nicely done. Uh, uh, very well spoken. So moving right along, we will and now invite Ivan to the screen, please. Ivan, can you hear us? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Okay, very good. Uh, wait for the prompt to start from the timekeeper and then begin when he gives you the prompt. All right. Now, ready, set, go. Greetings to end all present here today. I am one student of great faith from the Campbell School, Sonipat, Haryana, India. By the grace of Almighty and my mentors, I have got an opportunity to be a part of I Handed Skills Show, organized by International Institute of Influencers. And my category is IHS Titans. Today, I am going to present my views on the topic My Dream School and My Dream Teacher in the realm of education. The concept of an ideal or dream school varies from person to person. For some, it may be a place where creativity, innovation, and individuality are highly valued. Whereas, for some, it may be a place where rigorous academic challenges are the norms. My dear respected audiences, my vision of a dream school is blend of both, where education is about fostering creativity and critical thinking while maintaining academics. The infrastructure of my dream school would be a harmonious blend of technology and nature. The classrooms would be equipped with the stage and art of technology to enhance learning experiences, yet the large windows would invite nature. The curriculum would be dynamic, evolving with the changing world. It would promote interdisciplinary learning, breaking the barriers of traditional subject boundaries. The teachers would encourage children to ask questions, explore, and innovate. It would be a place where values such as empathy, respect, and integrity are as valuable as academic achievement. It would be a place where every individual is uh, where every individual is respected and diversity is celebrated. In my dream school, teachers would not be merely in instructors, but mentors who are approachable, empathetic, and dedicated to teach uh, their children well and nurturing and intellectual growth of their students. <laughs> they would be dedicated and passionate to teach their children well and make the bright career of the students. They would be deeply attached with love and affection. My dream school would be would not be a place for academic learning, but it would be a place for the nurturing ground for not my dream of what education is not really a dream of what education you can and should be. Thank you. Thank you uh, for that, Ivan. Uh, very well thought and considered uh, speech. Thank you very much. So moving right along, uh, I would like to invite Alia uh, Makadam to the screen, please. Greetings, sir. Good evening. Okay, be ready to start on Timekeeper's Prompt. Great. Ready, set, go. The purpose of life is a life with purpose. Greetings to everyone present here. I am passionate Alia Mukadam studying in 12th grade in Golkris, Taiwashi, and I'm very honored to share my views on this esteemed platform. How can we achieve the purpose of life through humanized education? 
Education is undoubtedly the most powerful weapon. It can make or break a person or even a country. It all depends on how you acquire the knowledge. Humanized education allows you to open the gates of education in the most organic way, fostering a sense of creativity and independence of opinion. One of the key goals in education and in life is to find a purpose for it. Now, whether that be earning lakhs as your monthly salary or earning thousands but living in peace in your small comfy home. Example, though both a soldier or a terrorist, both are holding a gun, but they both have different purpose. And that's where your education comes in place. Defining how you take your life decisions and how does it make you different and how do you impact the society? Are you driven by greed or by understanding? A book that helped me discover my purpose of life is named Ikigai, which also embodies the values of humanized education. It highlights the topic very beautifully. Determining a purpose is what we wake up to for in the morning. Those who give up on doing things that they love to do, they lose their purpose. Making progress or doing things of value, bringing beauty and utility to others, ethics and morals should be taught, meaning ethical education that helps us choose the right path in life. Basic principles such as honesty, charity, tolerance, kindness, sympathy, these all influence our behavior. And you know what? Humanized education plays a vital role to reach this goal. For an example, a new pencil is like a newborn baby. Its mind is completely raw until education in the form of a sharpener comes and nurtures the brain. It sharpens the skill of the child during the journey of education. It exposes the person to the vast possibilities and pushes the person to find a purpose and think beyond. The pencil represents the person as a, a person and the sharpener represents education. Everyone has a different purpose from another and humanized education fits and respects that individuality, instilling ethical values and giving students the tool to write and direct their own future. The true purpose of education is to make minds think with a touch of humanity. Do you think our world is doing that? And do you think it's doing right? Do you think our world is completely human right now? And will you do this when given a chance? I'll leave you with this question. Thank you. Thank you. Very nicely done. Very well presented. Thank you for that. Uh, moving along to our next speaker, would like to invite Harleen Cower. Can you hear us? Yes, sir. Okay. Harleen, on a prompt from the timekeeper, you will begin. Now, ready, set, go. Educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. A very auspicious evening to everyone present over here. I, Harleen Kaur, studying in class 10 in Sanskrit Public School, Gorakhpur, India. Now, what is humanization of education? By definition, it is the orientation of education process in the development and self-development of personality to prioritize universal values and improvement in the relationship of personality and the society. Humanization of education brings two aspects of education, materialistic education and organic education. Materialistic education focuses on root learning in which students are expected to memorize all the things and write an exam. The only purpose is getting good marks. The one who gets good marks is considered intelligent. But organic education emphasizes the development of whole person, emotionally, socially, socially and spiritually. This approach seeks to engage students in learning process and encourages the personal and social responsibilities. It is a learning that develops from within a student. The students develops curiosity about an idea or topic and then seeks method to satisfy that curiosity. Education is not only the learning of facts, but it is the ability of mind to think. Educational institutions should not only focus to give children the bookish knowledge. Instead, they should give, they should teach student values and make students capable enough to implement those values in their lives. 
as all the five fingers of our hands are not alike. Similarly, all the students are also not same. All the students cannot perform alike in their examinations. Schools and colleges should not expect everyone to perform well. Someone is good in sports while some students are good in singing or music. And we should let students pursue what they are good in. Education with the education which help the students to get values is good. The education system should teach the students values and make them capable enough to cope up with the challenges they face in their life. The students, instead of being a bookworm, should become a valued human being. Thank you. Very well put. Thank you for that. Nicely done. And we will continue moving along. At this point, I would like to invite Jatish. Jatish, are you ready? Yes, sir. Very good. Uh, on the prompt from the uh, timekeeper, you will begin. Good. Ready, set, go. First of all, I would like to thank you, the chief guest, for giving me this opportunity. My name is Jitish and I am representing Mother Teacher International School. Today, my topic is my dream school and my dream teacher. To begin with the thought of an ideal or dream school, I would say that it varies with each individual. Few may go with creativity and innovation as a priority. For others, it could be a place where rigorous academic challenges are known. My vision of a dream school is a blend of both, where education is fostering creativity and critical thinking. The infrastructure of my dream school would again be a blend of nature and technology placed in synchronization with one another. Classrooms would have advanced learning tools yet having large windows inviting the nature in and creating a calm learning environment. The teacher in my dream school would be someone who is a mentor, a coach, a friend and a companion at the same time. They would walk the talk, stay hands on and make learning enjoyable. They would facilitate the journey of discovery and learning encouraging students to question, innovate and explore. My dream teacher would possess an unbiased approach and would take everyone along through the educational journey. My dream teacher would enlighten our minds with their wisdom and help us emerge as a better human being in every walk of life. The curriculum in my dream school would be dynamic, evolving with the changing world. Mother Teacher International School My school undoubtedly is my dream school as it exhibits all the characteristics that a dream school could have. It is not just a place for imparting knowledge but a place for spreading the wings and make learning enjoyable. Thank you. Very nicely done. Uh, thank you for that. Good thought. Very well presented. Moving quite quickly along, I would like to invite uh, Pawan Preet Kaur. Yes, Can you sir. hear us? Okay. Yes, All right. Now, ready, set, go. Hello, everyone. My name is Pawan Preet Kaur from Sixth Standard in GTB Royal International School, Tilma. And I am participating in I-100 Skill Show, which is organized by International Institute of Influencer. Today, I am here to speak my topic, that is my dream school. My dream, my future, my school. When I wake up, when I wake up, I think about my dream school. I think about my dream school. My dream school is a place where I can shape my dreams. The facility members are highly qualified. The concept of my dream school varies from person to person. For some, it may be a place where creativity and innovation are highly qualified. For others, it could be a place where academic challenges are the norm. My vision of a dream school is a blend of both. When education is about forecasting, 
creativity and critical thinking maintaining academic resort my dream school would be a place where values such as empathy respect and integrity are as important and academic achievement the curriculum in my dream school school would or dynamic involving with the changing world the work promote interdisciplinary peering breaking the barriers of standing out subject boundaries teachers teachers would facilitate the journey of discovery and peering explore the ex encouraging students to question explore the innovate my dream school would be a place where similar to my current school thanks very good dear are you finished yes sir okay thank you very nicely done uh we will continue moving along uh at this time i would like to invite uh gani Anwar, can you hear us, Gani? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Uh, on prompt from uh, the timekeeper, you can begin. Ready, set, go. We all have heard the famous saying by Nelson Mandela. Wishing you all a mesmerizing evening. I urgent and God gifted Ghani Pawar. I am a eighth grader and always full of enthusiasm. Representing Brahmanan Public School, Nissan Kanal, Haryana, and developing country India. Extending my sincere gratitude to CEO, coordinators, and all of the great personalities of International Institute of Influencers for giving me this idle opportunity to speak on this platform. Now, do you know what is humanization? anyone well let me tell you it means being more civilized and socialized with something and what is your opinion about education is it about job hunting or just securing first position in class needless to say no if you have a sight in practical world the august theme of education is not learning but action and a person without education is purposeless like a cloud wandering in the sky For example, you went to a family vacation and nominate a guide, but he has no clue about the location's biography. He is pointless for you. We can't imagine life without oxygen. So how a person without education? Imagine when two native powers combine, how dominant and commanding they become. Just when these two influential words combine, they not only form humanization of education. but also impacts compelling but what does humanization of education means and what was role of student in it let me brief you humanization of education is a glorious process of education which leads individual to be more in self perfection and self development and role of student was to interrelate with students teachers and make finest from the foremost facilities they are provided with for example this frame Take it as a student's life, and this painting as humanization of education. When a student takes humanization of education in his or her life, they not only look at real, but more intellectual and quick-witted in the empirical world. So just feel you are the most dominant element of the glorious process. Fulfill it instead of getting depressed after scoring shitty marks. In conclusion. Videos are the most powerful way to make you humanize with the brands. Just like your communication skill, empathy are the powerful ways to make you humanize with the education. Thank you, and have a spacious day ahead. Very nicely done. Thank you. Very well. Uh, now I would like to invite uh, Shreyash Sahu from. Saint Xavier School. Can you hear us? Oh, wow. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Uh, you may begin on the prompt from the timekeeper, please.
Professor Rubin, uh, we're not hearing you, sir. I'm sorry. Ready, set, go. Good evening, everyone, esteemed judges and my dear fellow participants. I am Sriya Sao from Class 5, St. Javier School, Sambalpur, Odisha. Today, I am present here to deliver my speech on my dream school and my dream teachers. To me, the school is a place where children spend maximum time with their teachers for learning and knowing about the world. That's why the school is known as the second home for the students. Therefore, I think it should be an ideal one for the students so that they can get everything that are needed for their holistic development. If someone asks me to paint my dream school on the canvas, I would first draw the sketch of my art science laboratory for each science subjects, smart classrooms, a well-developed playground, a wood library with books of different tastes, well-maintained toilets, a well-equipped gym, and a lush greenery all around. Then I would color it beautifully so that it will give an aesthetic look. Besides, my dream school must promote co-curricular and extracurricular activities like dance, music and drawing with the regular curriculum. But only a good looking structure with all facilities is absolutely worth nothing without good teachers because the quality of the school depends on the quality of the teachers. Teachers are the guiding lights to show the way to the students for reaching their destination safely and confidently. So in my dream school, I would like the teachers who are really able to guide, inspire and support the students for shaping and molding their future career. They must be loving, sharing, caring and affectionate so that the students would feel the school like their own home and own family. I strongly believe that teacher-student relationship is very essential for a good study environment in the school. In a single line about my dream school, it should be like a temple, the teachers acting like the priests and the students playing the role of devotees. Thank you and Namaskar to all. Very nicely done. Thank you for that. Thank you, okay, sir. Moving along to our next speaker, I would like to invite Herman D. Cower. Can you hear us? Herman D. Cower, can you hear us? Yes, sir. Very good. Okay, are you prepared? Yes, I am prepared, sir. Okay. Um, Professor Rubin, would you give this uh, participant a time to start, please? Ready, set, go. As Nelson Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. But what if I told you that a true education goes beyond textbooks and exams? A very trivial morning when all my teacher Carmen be currently studying the 11th grade in National Public School. And I'm thrilled to be here to speak in front of you all guys. Firstly, I'm grateful for this opportunity you have provided at international levels. And I'm really pleased to be able to speak in front of a prominent and well-known leaders, principals, and my co-stars. As a lifelong learner, and advocate for student-centered approaches, I strongly believe that education should go beyond textbooks and exams. It should be a transformative experience that nurtures the unique abilities and passions of each student. As the humanization of education can definitely help you achieve the purpose of your life by embarrassing the student, dwell strength, and pursue your dreams. It refers to the of making education more focused on the needs and development of individual students rather than just following the standardized approaches. It not just it emphasizes in the environment that values students' unique abilities, interests, and it aims to foster critical thinking 
creativity, empathy, and social skills things, and preparing them to be a world individuals in society. Education system humanization, it is known that output is a frame of views, values, principles, beliefs, perception of the world, and the place of a person in it. Centering students' humanity is the destination. It's the decision you must take every day in the classroom. Humanization is a novel concept, but sometimes it sure feels like It appears maybe we've got some technological problems again. I'm not hearing the audio. So we will move along to our next speaker. Yeah. Uh, our, next, our next speaker is Ishkariat Kaur. Ishkariat. There. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Very good. Okay. Uh, Professor Rubin, would you give uh, this speaker a um, prompt, please? Ready, set, go. Ladies and gentlemen, teachers, esteemed others, and my fellow students. Today, our mother right from Mother Teacher School Bernala is standing before you to shed a light on a topic of paramount importance, the contribution of student and humanization of education. Hey friends, education is not just memorizing the facts and figures, but it is a process of nourishing and shaping the individuals who can be responsible, compassionate, and well-rounded and who can actively engage in the complex challenges and complexity of this world. Furthermore, as such, we all know that teachers are the guiding lights of our education journey. They provide us with knowledge, wisdom, and most importantly, the values that shape our character. But don't you think that as a student, it's our responsibility to actively engage in humanization of education? Um, yeah, but now, Question arises that how we can do it and what we should do about it. So, first and foremost, we must show respect and pay gratitude to our teacher. Hey, do you know, friends? Simple thank you and a simple gesture of appreciation can go a long way in creating a positive and a dynamic environment for learning. Yeah. And by encouraging and acknowledging the efforts of a teacher, we are enforcing their passion for teaching and encouraging them to contribute starving for excellence. So furthermore, remember that we are not here. We students are not here to memorize the things, but to actively engage in this process, asking questions, engaging in the classroom, and most importantly, what I believe in, showing and giving our own perspective on a prescribed topic. Further, unpity, come on, friends. Teachers are also suffering from their own life issues. So we should understand and cooperate with them to establish a collaborative relationship with them so that they can understand us and we can also understand them as such like smooth like butter. Our relation will be like a smooth relation and a deep understanding with our teacher. But else, we are not only enriching our own education but making the classroom as a dynamic and inclusive space for learning. In conclusion, I just want to say that by this all, we are not creating the individuals who are only equipped in education, but the individuals who are equipped in whole society and can give great and a powerful impact to the society as whole. Remember students, we are not here to memorize the facts and figures. We are here to be actively engaging in education, to be a part of education. At last, I wanted to say that, be yourselves and actively engage in education rather than book walks. Thank you. Thank you, very well done. Nicely put and uh, look forward to hearing from our next, next speaker. Uh, I would like to invite 
Uh, Shabpreet Kaur to the screen. Can you hear us? Yes, okay. Very good. Uh, ready? Ready, set, go. Of course, life begins with teachers. Who is full of patience and excitement? Awesome evening to everyone. I am Shubhita, studying at GGB Royal International School, Silva. Today, I am going to speak that is my dream school. School is a very important part of every student's life. And hence, we all should be having good schools for a better society tomorrow. Poor students like the schools are our second home. We spend majority of our time in school. My idea of a good school was start by having good teachers. Teachers are the guiding line for students. Teachers who have patience and interest would definitely help in getting their students so interested in the subject that they teach and would find the potential of the student and get him or her to the best. Next would be change the regular four world of classroom kind of teaching methods students need to be satisfied. So that a wonderful combination of outdoor and indoor classroom section would have to concentrate more and make them feel more concerning rather than concerning all the time spending school within four walls of classroom. My dream school should have interactive syllabus and have a perfect trend of story and practical oriented classes. It should have high tech gadgets for easy studies and understanding. Every student should be allotted tasks so that the heavy bag should be awarded. All work could be stored in tasks. Good library combination with healthy food should be provided in school. A good library combination of art and class that would be helped to develop the inner talent of students. Necessity are all in our dream school. Thank you and have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, very well put. Another nicely expressed uh, speech. At this point, I would like to invite Yashmeet. Yashmeet, can you hear us? Yes, yes sir. Very good. Ready, Yashmeet. Ready, yes. set, go. Thank you, sir. Respected CEO, country director, jury members, and my dear friends, awesome evening to everyone. Human plus education equals to humanization of education. Education is the killing of a flame, not the filling of a vessel. This is HP, a student of ninth class. Today, I representing my school through public school Jalandar. I am really thankful to my principal man, Mrs. Neeraj K. Sandhu, for giving me this golden opportunity. So, my dear Anthes, Humanization approach is relevant to this era. Here, the focus is on the discussion of national identity, individuality, and social responsibilities, problems, and tasks of inclusion and integration. Everywhere, without regard for individual differences and students' choice, we can't achieve humanity. We have to free children from judgment and boundary. Educating the mind without educating the heart is meaningless. We can educate our heart by helping others whenever and wherever they need it. Be someone's strength. Be someone's strength. Be someone's inspiration. Be someone's reason to never give up. Here's the question arises. How can we develop humanity in us? Humanity means not to find a particular place to helping others. Like lifting up a heavy bag of an old person. Helping a blind to cross the road and helping our mother at the home is also a part of humanity. I have an example. At the age of 10, Gunalak Deji's father gave him 20 rupees to start a new business. 
but he used that 20 rupees to feed a hungry satis it is called selfless humanity the best example of humanity is mother teresa she devoted her all life to poor and helpless people to sum up i want to focus on the thought of listen others and be selfless as mahatma gandhi said don't lose your faith in humanity humanity is an ocean humanity is an ocean if few drops are dirty the ocean does not become dirty let's become the part of this ocean and pure our souls thank you for giving me your precious time and attention have a great day very well done thank you the the speeches are great thank you to everyone let's keep moving along uh at this point i would like to invite ashmin kaur ashmin can you hear us yes sir okay. lovely evening uh, to all ashmin wait for the timer please ready okay sir ready set go Lovely and happy morning to all. I am Ashwin Kaur from Sixth Standard in JJB Royal International School, Tilma District, Gurdaspur, and I am a participant of I Hundred Skill Show organized by International Institute or Influencer. Today I am here to speak my topic, that is my dream school. My kind of school need to be very good. Need to be very good. It should be the one the people don't make fun. The people. don't make fun my dream school is a place where every student feel valuable and inspire to reach their full of potential teachers of my dream school are highly educated my dream school would be open for all rich and poor my dream school would be complete with amazing facilities like classroom lab library a library and counseling center would be a hand to enable students to more familiar with their subjects and themselves studying is a hand on environment a low student to use the five senses to get knowledge it's smalls than to be excited there would be a canteen stock with healthy food a balanced diet is vital for those students who spends many hours in my dream school clean non processed nutrition is a key requirement to which student find them i love my current school a lot but when i talk about my dream school i think it would be similar to it my dream school is a one of the place where students will not revise their education but they will give a platform to show their talent and creativity thanks very well presented thank you for that we are uh, moving well and getting a lot of good perspective At this point, I would like to invite Riddhi Tondal. Can yes, you sir. hear us? Okay, very good. Wait for the timekeeper to give you a prompt to start. Ready, set, go. Education is not the learning of facts, but the training of mind to think. A very auspicious and wonderful evening to one and all present here. Today, I ambitious, passionate, dedicated Riddhi of Grade Nine is here to represent Bal Bharati Public School Solon in I Hundred Skill Show organized by International Institute of Influencers. Firstly, I would like to thank my mentor, Headmaster Sir, that gave me this wonderful opportunity to speak on this platform. Now, coming to the main topic, the role of student in humanization of education. now many of you think what does this term humanize humanize in simple words if i say it just means civilized or the orientation of education process for self development universal values or self development this is all it means to be humanized now what is the role of student in it the role of student in humanization of education is just about imaginative skills somewhere in our mind there is a corner where we have a lot of ideas running through our heads what we going to do with that ideas we need to develop it and evaluate in getting new ideas that could help us develop our ideas nation now as our favorite quote education is the most powerful weapon that could change the world 
education is also the most dangerous weapon that could destroy the world. Now, many of you think, who are the main protagonists of this? Teachers are the main protagonists of our story. Teachers know how to deal with each and every student with their behavior and concepts. Every student has different personality, different behaviors. We need to deal with it all. Teachers helps the student to evaluate new ideas. Teachers should focus on organic learning. Organic learning is all about imagining new ideas and working on it. In the end, I would just like to say, as our favorite quote, the Lai Lama said, while educating the youth, we should never forget to educate their heart. Thank you and have a nice day ahead. Nicely done. Thank you for another great presentation. At this time, I would like to invite uh, Divroop. Can you hear us, Divroop? Yes, sir. Very good. Uh, Begin on the mark from the timekeeper, please. Ready, set, go. Nothing is impossible. The word impossible says that I am possible. A very captivating evening to everyone. I am Devroop Singh of ninth grade from National Public School, Nishara Panwa. Today, I feel honored to speak in front of prominent leaders, principals, and co-stars. Today, I am going to speak on a topic which is very close to my heart, and that is humanization of education. Humanization of education. This is a schooling instruction scheme that has its principles based on human empathetic elements. To humanize is to penetrate and be penetrated by the condition of the others. By the condition of the others because the solid and deep bond between people are built with solid and transparent relationships. But these humanization values are not confused with personal values. Therefore, it is up to human and the realization of economic and social systems, knowing what the human being wants and knowing the path that one must follow according to the new social energy. Three key pillars for humanizing students' welfare. First, inclusion. Everyone wants to be heard, and this is especially true in the education workplace. Therefore, creating an environment that encourages open communication, collaboration, and interaction across demographic groups and job opportunities gives people a belongingness. Second, empowerment. Organization wants is to empower students to act in their roles. Every institution needs to invest in their pupils' empowerment to form and growth and advancement to ensure they retain more pupils in the long run. Third, personality and diversity. Educational institutions should try to understand and appreciate their learners' diversity and will be valued in an organization that tries to understand and who they are as an individual. Thank you, everyone, for giving me this great opportunity on this international platform. Thank you very much. Well done. Uh, Again, we continue with some great uh, speeches. At this time, I would like to invite Aran to the uh, stage, please. Are you there, Param? Okay, I am not seeing Param present on the screen, so we will move along to the next speaker. At this point, I would like to invite Simrat. Uh, Let's see, Simrat, are you here and can you hear us? Yes, sir, I'm here. Very good. Okay, on prompting from our timekeeper, please begin your speech. Ready, set, go. Sir, can I start? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Future belongs to those who believe in in the beauty of their dreams. So, good morning, one and all. My name is Simrat, a student of Mother Teacher International School, Hindiya. Today, I am going to tell you two things that are very close to my mind. So, my topic is my dream school and my dream teacher. So, firstly, I would like to tell you about my dream school. So, as a child, I also have a dream school in my mind. So, my dream school is a place 
where there should be no foundation for children. Uh, no foundation of studying. All subjects not need uh, means uh, you can say discrimination or uh, partiality, judgment of uh, on the basis of marks. Because everyone is unique and everyone has their own talents, own uh, own qualities, etc. So overall, a dream school is a uh, my dream school is a place where there should be the children should be flourish and find the perfect version of themselves. So now I would like to tell my uh, my dear teacher. So she is one of my school teacher only. Uh, she is my maths teacher, Bita ma'am. So you know why she is my, my ideal one? Because she always encouraged me to give my best. She always encouraged me to give my best and she believed in me a lot. She always uh, said me that believe in yourself and you can do everything you want and you will be success. So uh, at last, my ideal teacher is a teacher that makes differences, not classrooms. Thank you. Nicely put. Thank you for that. Uh, pre uh, Appreciate you, everyone's thoughts and efforts. I know we had some challenges with uh, technology today that created some problems, but we will work to uh, overcome those and take those into account. And Dr. Shama, would you like to say a word before we uh, close out our day? Uh, yeah, Dr. Kevin, it was so wonderful. And thank you so much, Dr. Kevin. Uh, and uh, we finally finished the first phase. Even Miss Sheena, she has given her really, I can say, valuable time uh, to all of us. I just want Miss Sheena to give her review completely before we uh, wind up. Miss Sheena, from your side. How Actually, did you feel today? Sorry. Yes, thank you. I, I'm really impressed. I'm looking at young people that are going to be in our world of work in the future. And I think what I'm hearing today is young adults with a voice. And I think it's so important to have that voice, to learn and expand your voice while you're at school, while you're in education. Learn to use your voice personally and professionally. I was so impressed listening to the topics in the last round there. I think I'd better look out in my speaking career now. Uh, I can see all these young, aspiring influencers coming to the fore, and I'd be looking out for them. So well done. And as I said in the beginning, first be the best, and now today, Start thinking you're going to be first in everything you do. Thank you so much, Nishina. Thank you. I'm sure all of our participants, students will be taking up uh, your in that. And also, first of all, I have taken something from you today again. Uh, when you said that speaking is the profitable business, you said, and I'm sure all of our students, all of our students are going to take this from you, how to speak, how to communicate, and how to be spontaneous as well. Thank you, Mishina. Thank you for your valuable time. Thank you so much. So, Dr. Kevin and Daljiji, you want to say something to the students today? Yes, uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Shama Hussain, for making such a beautiful word where students, they can converse, they can speak, they can share their thoughts to the rest of the world on humanization of education and my my school, my dream school. So I'm thankful to all the edu leaders, all the principals, all the coordinators, teachers, and my dear students. You are rocking star. And today I have decided to polish you, to discover the diamond in you. I'm going to start India's first virtual uh, public speaking academy for each one of you. And my dream has come true. I'm highly thankful to Sheena Walker. I'm thankful to Ruben, sir. I'm thankful to Dr. Kevin Ward. And I'm thankful to each one of you for giving your precious time to make this word one of the best words where we can live, you know, and lead the universe with our thoughts, with our impressions, with your dedication, with your passion. And today I'm speechless, actually. My dream has come to I'm, I'm feeling so, so emotional. The moment when idea came in my mind to start this 
you know, I skill hundred show and I discuss with my mentor, Dr. Shama Hussain. Let me start doing something great to transform to rest of the world. And my dear children, you are rocking today. Today, dream has come true and we are representing Bharat to rest of the world on the theme of humanization of education. So over to you, Dr. Shama Hussain. Thank you, Delviji. Thank you so much. So lots of insights we got today from everyone. And uh, only request to uh, the students who are watching is please try to be very spontaneous, very active because you are an international platform. You need to be very uh, vigilant. You need to be very vigilant. You have to improve more to survive in this competition, not just competition to survive yourself. As Nishina said, speaking is the profitable business as well. It's business in sense, don't take it the business of commercial business only. Business is your life business for which you are here. You are born in this world. So take this one as a, uh, don't take yourself for granted that I know everything. You are in the process of learning, learn from others, learn from each and every one, every day, every single minute. Still there is a need of perfection. Convert your flaws to awesome, be flossome. So look forward to see you, but today some students have impressed like anything. They have done amazing, amazing to the amazing. Really, they touched my heart. So Dr. Kevin, uh, over to you, Dr. Kevin. What a day. Very great uh, presentations and uh, look forward to the next phases. And then uh, once we get through uh, all of the phases, we will be announcing uh, those that will move along and be recognized. And so thank you everyone for being here today and giving of your valuable time. Uh, Sheena, thank you. Uh, Professor Rubin, thank you. And all of our participants, uh, Daljeet, thank you for being here and your passion. We appreciate you. So without any further ado, we want to say good day, uh, good evening, and we look forward to the next round. Uh, Dr. Kama, thank you all for leaving. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and a very warm welcome to ISA 2023 in the most vibrant city of Dubai. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the founder and CEO of International Institute of Influencers, the very inspiring, the visionary, Dr. Shama Hussain. We are letting the people to know Jo Pani se nahate hain, wo libas badalte hain. Jo pasine se nahate hain. Jo pasine se nahate hain. वो इतिहास बदलते हैं दे मेक फॉरवर्ड इट्स ग्रेट व्हाट यू हैव डू व्हाट यू आर डूइंग विश यू द बेस्ट ऑल यू एंड योर टीम 
in UK, in Dubai, in Oman, in New York, in Arizona, or anywhere you are functioning and doing your work and business. Good luck and wish you the best. Thank you very much.